eyes into vision. You want to do that? I can't. What's up, guys? I'm all fresh and clean. Just got out of the shower. Today, Enzo and I are going to be behind the camera today for modeling. It's Enzo's first modeling gig, so that's exciting. So excited about that. That's pretty much it for the day. It's, of course, work, so I'll be at the office. So I'm just getting ready. It's funny because I feel like I'm never really fully adjusted. And it could be because I just came off of, like, having a kid, sitting down for, like, two months. Not fully sitting down, but having more of a set routine kind of um and so now we're getting back into the swing of things so we just came back from almost a two-week work trip work family trip like it's funny adjusting back to those things and getting back into the swing of i don't even i don't even know i guess it's normalcy because we this is how it was before that's exciting we have a lot coming up so we're in town for about two weeks but yeah we were in rochester detroit tennessee so I just put in this um, Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In Conditioning Conditioner by Shea Moisture. I don't typically do any fans, but it's winter time, so um, I don't know what my next hairstyle is gonna be, honestly. I think I'm just gonna play around with my hair. And then I'm also going in, because I'm doing a natural style, I need it to be like slicked a certain way. So I'm gonna go in with this Mayo organics, pomegranate and honey, cool sculpting custard. I feel like I'm out of breath. Does this seem like I'm out of breath? I don't know. I had my first facial last week. Eric booked me a facial and massage last week when we were in Tennessee. That was interesting. Uh, it felt weird having someone touch my face. <laughs> but other than that, it was good. I didn't like, I mean, she popped my pimples, I think. Pimples or blackheads or something. That was interesting. I was just listening to this podcast and it's um, called the Sugar Sugar Babies. They just talk about a wide range of stuff as working moms. So I enjoyed that podcast. I also learned that I learn or get the most when things are told through stories. So they always have guests on telling things from like their point of view and what happened to them and how they navigated. So that's always cool. I'm always looking for more podcasts. So if you know any more comment them down below entrepreneurship um creativity motherhood spirituality stuff like that oh relationships that's cool too the one relationship podcast that i loved is no longer is um they're not filming anymore shout out to the love hour kevin Liss. <laughs> Just finished, well, finished a photo shoot. 
you guys saw and then I came back to the office did some work fed so and then a bunch of guys came by the office who I hadn't seen in since before I went into had Enzo and they haven't seen Enzo so that was cool just like got a boost of like energy and I don't know good laughs from those people so that was pretty cool and then now I have to run to the store um I'm giving my sister a little little gift baggy for third trimester so I was like I was thinking about her so I was like oh this would be cool just get her so I have to go get a couple more things for that and then drop it off at her house and then I need to get some cleaning supplies and then that's pretty much it going back to the house and gonna clean up a little bit record some content edit watch a little tv um Oh, and cook. I'm making roasts for the first time, so that's gonna be fun. Eric has a basketball game, so I typically go to the basketball game, so I don't go to the one, the team, one he plays on Monday nights because there's not really anywhere to sit in the um, in the uh, in the courtroom, the gym, <laughs> and then also Mondays are usually pretty uh, extensive for me. I just like to be at home sometimes after long days, so. But yeah, that's what I have up for the night. Let's see if all that stuff gets done, but the podcast I was listening to that I finished from earlier was just like, just do one thing at a time. Just do one thing at a time. And I don't feel like I always, I don't feel like I tend to focus on one thing at a time. I'm always like, trying to do multiple things. And I think that's one of my problems there's so much to do that I'm like I need to do it all so sometimes I find myself hopping back and forth to things without finishing because yeah so just do one thing at a time so I'm gonna focus on one thing at a time when I get home and just for the day and do that and really realize what's a priority oh yeah also I put a little makeup on nothing crazy just a little bit of foundation from Merit brand Merit and then a little blush and I don't really wear eyeshadow I just put blush on my eyes and I kind of like this look like it's natural not too much but it's a little makes me look a little rosy and natural and cutesy and I love it oh I have a little highlighter up here this one is so all right I'm done shopping okay done I just need to package her gift really quick and then Gonna go drop it off. Also, got her this cute little card. So, yeah. I am a huge gift giver. That's my thing to a fault sometimes. Um, but yeah, I've learned to like adjust and also do it for the right reasons too. Or just not be expecting, like, expect a certain reaction sometimes. Or, Cause I've given people gifts sometimes and. It may not be that how they receive love, so they don't really care as much. <laughs> um, so yeah, learning to not really be faced by that and just do what's on my heart. So that's what I do. And also recognize the people that really deserve it. Not everybody deserves or even cares, you know, what, what, what you have to give. They don't care about it. So, yep. <sighs> This is for my sister, and she cares. So. Um, but I got her. She loves cotton candy and marshmallows. And every year during Easter, they have cotton candy marshmallows. So I tend to get them for her. Sometimes I get too many, probably, but <laughs> it's okay. And then I got her this Mother's Milk tea. And then I got her a couple of masks. This one is just a sheet face mask. I have this one as well. And then this is just a green tea butt mask for some relaxation and then I got her this um Ulta Beauty sugared vanilla scrub body scrub um, you know so I mean I think she'll like them she's always super grateful so and then I have my other friend something too which I have to put in the mail I actually need to really do that so I'm gonna just um package this really quick and then I also went to Bath and Body Works I didn't record that 
I love to get our wallflowers from Bath and Body Works because they just have the best scents. Um, and they're the most fragrant, I find, to be the most fragrant. So I went and got some of those in the wash day scent. So if you know, you know. Okay. I give good gifts. Sure, there's also I, think, I don't think these coasts are big enough. No, they are. So the problem is this is what it, the balance is. Alex, bro, come on, just try this milk, bro. Are you can you drink breast milk? <laughs> Not him thinking about it. <laughs> oh my god. Get a little lactate within it. That looks it smells good. Does it? Got excuse a couple me. of different ones. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I don't even remember. Oh, mm -hmm. it was this one, right? Yeah. But it looks like they got a couple oh, more. Yeah. Let's just double check. Make sure that's the one we want. Double check. But yeah, this does feel good though. So, you know, if we get this, I had to switch up the vibes at the house, right? Excuse me. Um, I like that one because I can dig my toes in it. Yeah, you, you can dig your, you can dig your toes in it. Actually, we can keep the current moment. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna get this one. Mm -hmm. 